Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how I play my arrangement of Metallica Master of Puppets. So we start with a very famous intro. <laughs> And then we go. It's of course very powerful and I think for me it's important when you want to play long, powerful, you have to make sure that in between notes your hands are relaxed. You don't keep your hand in this situation because it looks strong, but it's actually losing all the power. The secret is speed and then relaxation. Basically, it's like jumping like a ball. It's speed in the finger, my hand is relaxed. I don't do much of jumping or moving, it's just only necessarily things. That's why I never understand when pianists do this kind of movements, because physically it's absolutely not necessarily. Probably it looks good, not sure. For me, just keep it as simple as possible, only do what's necessarily, then you have more power for longer time. So one more time, intro, and then we go to the first verse. <laughs> tricky that's normal four and then it's five eights to keep it a little 
little bit organized how I feel it. It's like it's normal, it's not difficult. I just kind of jump with my weight on this note and play a normal pattern of four notes. And now we combine it with the melody. I used to play it with two hands, now it's one hand. And here, I leave my hand here and I just jump. Usually when I have big distances, I don't try to stretch my hand as much as possible. I just keep it too simple and I just jump. step higher. Maybe you can see it. Basically, my hand is free when I play. A lot of things are done just, just by the, you know, Rules of physics. I keep it a little bit organized. And then it, it just jumps, you know. Never jumps too high because it's just not natural. It's a little bit like throwing ball into the ball and it goes back. the key basically that's it and all this um, how does it called I forgot the word rhythmical things syncopas a little bit tricky just take your time when I practice I extra pay extra time extra attention to all the weird angles that you have to do you know so you kind of learn it and you don't just skip it when you play fast <laughs> I notice that it sounds like shit when you play it and you just don't pay enough attention to the last note. You kind of want to make it even a little bit like a little crescendo. Because then it it doesn't sound like, you know, <laughs> I don't know how is the right word for that. Just believe me. it because once I was trying to record and it seems all normal but it sound, sounded quite bad 
sounded disorganized. So when things you play fast sound disorganized, probably it makes sense to practice it slower and pay extra attention to all these moments when something gets switched or moves in a weird syncopas or whatever. So all these things are not just swallowed on the higher tempo. <laughs> this um, sometimes I play like just octaves I don't really follow my own sheets to the note it's not classical music it's just my arrangement so I play what I want <laughs> again different way how I play it in the sheets left hand and right hand play a little bit tricky things on its own, practice it separately. It's easier to add this little rhythm things by just playing around with the not hate anyway. first time master different fingering so you can see I don't really do much of this it's not necessary as I said I find it easier to just move my hand on the keyboard towards where I have to play as you see I put some energy to the first note and the rest is this Soft, not soft, not soft, but uh, doesn't have this energy. It's just like kind of the the left, the rests of that energy of first note. Oh yeah, I didn't. 
don't, I don't teach much. And the rest you can even do by soft, not again soft, small movement with your hand. It's a movement of your hand, not really much of work of separated fingers. melody notes so it doesn't sound just um, insignificant that could be a little bit tricky Is it separate? Last part, you know. Without without uh, 
pedal that I'm holding, but more like pedal to each note. actually doesn't sound that great on piano but as usually I transcribed what I hear the left hand keeps the rhythm that we know and the right hand goes much faster and it's actually quite tricky to play it slow because the uh, right hand uh, of course I've wrote sheets because I have to write sheets for that but I don't always follow it exactly just basically you pay attention that the left hand keeps it organized and the right hand maybe you can make some in your head play some moments where you have to come on time with the left hand of your soul, you know, like some sort of, I don't know how to explain it. Like that thing on the board that you put so board doesn't go away. I forgot the word of it. Yeah, Yanka. Yanka. Anyway, and the rest you can go wild just as long as you know for sure you will come to a certain point it keeps you organized, it uh, saves you from just going mental. the word anchor just place a few anchors where it's comfortable for you and make sure the left hand doesn't lose it and the right hand do whatever the fuck you want sometimes pff, just mess it sounds also okay as long as it doesn't sound all over the place but something is stabilizing the you know the entire thing in your case you only have left hand for that in the case of bands they have, you know, drummers, bass players, and everybody else. together not completely lost on time and then we go to the next <laughs> Just need 
strong fingers. everything, the entire material of the song, now we're gonna repeat it. practice it practice it slow and you really keep your hands relaxed between those impulses of power and speed basically it's more speed than weight or anything else <laughs> kind of go softer and softer at some point it plays like this I know it's shorter in the original and there's also no break but it kind of feels right to feel uh, to finish it a little bit stronger and make it a bit longer Wow, that's a long tutorial. Good luck. <laughs>